Opening night for high school football across Northeast Indiana, and boy, was it a night to remember. The SAC flipped on its head in a night that maybe some expected some surprises. This was ridiculous. Megan Sally at Spooler Stadium to take it all in for our must-see matchup that had quite a bit of must-see moments. The Snyder Panthers replaced 30 plus seniors. Is the chemistry still there or will Deuce Taylor show us what him and the legends are made of? In the second quarter, Taylor under center slings it. It's a 20 yard dime to Ronald Collins. Legends shining bright jump in front 26 to 7. On the ensuing kickoff, Kamari Juarez takes it to the 18 yard line. He almost takes it all the way home. Snyder's Trent Ryder lines up for the 26-yard field goal. It's up and good. Makes it 26-10. to Northside reloads the offense now. This time, Hassan Lambert picks up the first down. Who caps off the first half? Will Taylor with a short pass to Bronte Johnson. Johnson gets to the outside, picks up the 10 yards needed for the touchdown. North beats Snyder for the first time in five years. And by 30 points, 47-17. to Bishop Dwanger hosting Sherwood Haydock's Wayne Generals. In the first, Generals get right after Brennan Lytle, the QB for the Saints. Chris Thomas takes him down. Lytle would shake it off, though. Connects with Rocco Sinyoka for the first down later. After Devin Timmon rushes to the one-yard line, it's Lytle who punches it in on the QB keeper. Bishop Dwanger now on the board. Later in the first quarter now, Aiden Meeks looks for his receiver. He throws it a little off the mark, and Colin Vance takes advantage. Pulls it down despite the bobble holds on. Vance with the INT. Saints win 35-12. to Chris, back to you. Thank you, Megan. Northrup down 21-6 late in the first half at Homestead. But Demarius Cowan uses sheer willpower to cross the plane 21 to 13. Bruins down just eight entering intermission. The Spartans, Braden Hardwick. Well, he's back and he's looking brand new once again. What a run as Homestead is in prime position to extend its lead. But no, no, no. The sophomore for Northrop, CJ Davis providing the turning point in this game. The interception slides all momentum Northrop's way as the Bruins amount an amazing comeback. 25-21, they beat Homestead in its own backyard in what's a monumental historic win for the Northrop program. Columbia City unveiling its brand new stadium, and it's a picture-perfect night for it. First quarter, Churubusco fumbling, and it's recovered by CC lineman Brooks Longenbaugh, and that puts the Eagles in business. QB Gregory Bolt taking it himself, and he bolts, nearly going the distance. That sets up the sweet pass game. Bolt to TJ Bedwell, a nice snag for the score as CC puts up the first points on its new field and a little more history later on as Garrett Kleffacker nails a program record 44-yard field goal. The Eagles hand Busco its largest loss since 2004, 38 to nothing. And finally, state runners up last season. East Noble returns with a new signal caller under center. It's Dalton Stinson. The Knights proved to be contenders again. Stinson to Rowan Zolman. And no, it's not deja vu, but it is Stinson again. This time to Nick Munson. Tack on six more. This one a route, 31-0 as all is well in Kendallville. And that is all for sports.